In the meantime, we are joined right now by the head football coach at UAB. He was named head coach back in January of 2014. He was the national coach of the year in 2018. Conference USA coach of the year in 2017. Led UAB to three divisional titles and a couple of conference titles. They're 1-0 and on the year, and they've got a big one. Big one coming up next Saturday against number five, Georgia. Bill Clark is my guest. Bill, it's so good to have you back. How are you? Good, Jim. How are you? Good, good. So let me start off by saying you opened up the season Wednesday night with a 31 nothing win over Jacksonville State. Maybe not a perfect game, but how good did it feel to be playing somebody in a different color jersey, and what do you make of the way your team showed up overall? Well, you know, obviously uh, Jack State's my alma mater, so that was, a, that was a big game, and I knew it was going to be an important game to them. Obviously, they've got a They've done really well, um, you know, since I left back in 2013. Coach Gross has done a great job. I knew it was going to be a war. and uh, We started out a little slow, give him credit. You know, we started a little slow offensively, but we picked it up. And really felt we played really, really well second quarter on defense. Had a really good night. Obviously, in game one, there's always things to clean up. And, you know, we better get them cleaned up before we go to Athens. All right, so let me ask you really quickly about that second quarter. Maybe you didn't have the start you wanted, but in the second quarter, you had that nine-play, 97-yard TD drive. Then you followed that up with a block punt that turned into a field goal. How much did those two series change the entire complexion of the game? Yeah, we talk about the middle eight. You know, the middle eight is those, you know, those four minutes or so before the end of the second half and then the start of the second half. I mean, I think that's a – Obviously, that's a huge momentum deal as you go into halftime. And, you know, so you gain 10 points swing right there, and you were getting the ball, which is, you know, obviously why you love to defer, you know, if you can come out and play good defense and then have a chance to get it the second half when you've been able to make some adjustments. So, really, from that standpoint, it really couldn't have been any better because we come out and then get the score to start the third quarter. UAB head coach Bill Clark is joining us. And, Bill, you bring back a lot of talent, including a number of super seniors. I understand it's one game at a time, one day at a time. I understand the process. But as you look at this group overall, how good can this team be? You know, I think from a standpoint, and I, I was just telling this just a minute ago before we got on air, that when people believe in, in whatever your process is, you know, if they believe in what you're doing, I think that's when you see – good things happen. I think that's what we got going right now is a bunch of guys that really believe in, in how we do things. And, and you know, this, this super senior group, as you referred to, you know, has been with us for a while. Uh, they believe in what we do and how we do it. And I think, you know, obviously their leadership is what's going to carry us. We're talking to Bill Clark. You know, obviously, Bill, you want to establish a process and a culture, but let's not forget it was not that long ago when you were just scrambling to find players after the program was restarted. I'm curious, how does it feel now to be in this spot where you have so many guys who have been with you and they understand the expectations? Yeah, that's exactly That's a great point. I think for us, you know, we were we were in survival mode. It was, you know, let's take these guys from all over the country and get them to come together as best we can. I, I, and they did. They did a really good job for us. And now – it looks like a program. You know, you've got young guys coming in who, who actually have been fans of, you know, of UAB and watched us play and, and you know, saw us win championships. And, and then you've got guys that have been here with us for, you know, for four years. And it's just totally different. You're training so much better. Um, they understand the system. And now they're almost like coaches. And I say that all the time. You know, we should have every guy in our locker room should be a leader for us. I mean, Bill, it's such an amazing thing that we just said that now you've got guys coming that know about the program, that are fans of the program, that have seen us win titles and want to be a part of this. Again, we're talking about a program that was not even a program, really. How have you gone from not having a program to dominating the conference in a matter of years? How do you explain that? Well, you know, we've been blessed. And I think we've had, you know, a real, our staff has stayed together and, and, you know, probably half of those guys, you know, you know, I've got tons of guys that played for me and have been with me for years, and I really think that belief, and I, and I always say this kind of jokingly, wishbone or empty, you know, so you could throw it every down or you could run it every down. They both work. It's, the, it's what you do and do they really believe in it, and I think our staff believes in how we do things. I'm a big, you know, I'm an old strength and speed guy back from the 80s, you know, when I first started and how we train, uh, everybody's involved in everything we do and, and just that belief and 
Lord knows we've got tons to work on and, and, you know, every opponent, you know, the bullseye keeps getting bigger as you do better. But uh, I am proud of the, the staff and the players, you know, just the belief they have in what we do. You bet. Bill Clark is joining us once again. Now, you and I over the years have spoken about this. We've talked about the new facility and what that's going to mean. Next month, you are going to open up a new home stadium, and you're going to do it against Liberty right here on CBS Sports Network. What does that stadium represent to you personally and the program overall? Yeah, I mean, it, it, it's, I don't know if it's, it's hard to say how big it is because I'm a lifelong, you know, two years I coached in the state of Georgia, but I'm a lifelong Alabamian. And uh, Birmingham is really, I think anybody's really been in Birmingham knows what a great town it is. The people are so special and love college sports and any sports, but college football for sure. And, uh, to have a, a new home that's state of the art. Uh, it's right off the interstate. It's going to be a great place. Just every day you drive by, you know, you're going to take a UAB football, which is a great advertisement. It, I really think it's going to be just a, a game changer for our town, but of course for us and, and our program and, and just the, the game day atmosphere for our players, for recruits, for our city. You know, so I think it's just it's that big. UAB head football coach Bill Clark is joining us. You know, one more thought. I hate to keep going back, but when you consider what you went through and what you've dealt with, it might not feel that way, but given the success you're having right now, the facility, the new stadium, does it almost feel like the program shutdown is finally ancient history? Yeah, I really think so. I think it's it's like, hey, you know, we don't ever want to forget where we came from. I'm an old history major. I love those lessons we all learn, and, and you know. But I think for us, it really is. It's in the rearview mirror, and, and everything is looking forward. And now, you know, and I think me and you talked about this, you know, a few years ago. It's like, I, you know, I can't wait till we're really just, you know, we're a program like like programs in the country with guys that have been with you, and you know, and years behind you. Thankfully, we've got championships behind us, you know, that we can look to. But. I, I, yeah, it, it's kind of in the rearview mirror now. Good. We're talking to Bill Clark. All right, so the matchup on Saturday, you're going to go to Athens, take on number five, Georgia, a major challenge but a major opportunity. What are your early thoughts on that matchup? Gosh, you know, I just – I mean, Kirby have known each other forever. When he was at Alabama and I was a high school coach in the state, I know how, how he works and how meticulous they are. I know how they've recruited. You know, I mean, you see, you go look at on any – you know any kind of thing you want to see about Georgia and what kind of college town it is, what's the atmosphere. So we know we know how tough it's going to be. We know it's going to be tough to play there. Obviously, they've got a big game Saturday, so you know we'll see what that does with them. But you know they're going to be ready. It's going to be their home opener. We just got to all those old you know the old things the coaches all say you know about not beating yourself and and hanging around and playing good defense, best teams, et cetera, not turn the ball over. We just got to do all those things, and you know and hopefully we're there in the fourth quarter. Yeah, Bill, I wonder if there's anything else. For instance, I had a conversation yesterday with Fresno State head coach Kalen DeBoer, and they're facing Oregon tomorrow in Eugene, and we talked about the process of helping the players deal with all of the hype. So in addition to the things that you just mentioned that coaches always tell players, what are the types of things that maybe you tell your guys to get ready for a game like that? I mean, do you try to treat Georgia as just another opponent, or do you point out, man, this is an amazing opportunity for you to make a statement? No, I think you do. I think you do have to live in a little bit of, you know, we don't want to make it bigger than it is, but it is a great opportunity. This is, you know, this is the reason you come to play, and we're going to play one of these high marquee teams every year, and it's always going to be their place. We always stay on the road. We've got to be better, but, you know, we will go out there and turn it all loose, and, you know, we're not going to play in a tougher atmosphere at any point, you know, later in the year. It's going to make us better, so let's go out there and, and you know, and give it our all. Hey, Bill, I wonder what it's like. Like when you go into an atmosphere like that, and you'll certainly find out this weekend, when you're away from the fans and kind of those hostile environments, is there a way where maybe the players have to kind of re engineer themselves or get ready for that? They're clearly going to be excited to have fans in the stadium regardless. But when you're away from that hostile environment, is there a process for having to kind of get yourself back into that mindset or that mind, that mind frame? Yeah, I think so. I think we just, you know, you talk about it, you try and create noise in practice. You try and feed on their, their really their negative energy is something you want to to fuel, you know, and use use that to to make yourself better. But I do think it's something you do have to, you know, you have to get them in that mindset of what it's going to look like. All right, so UA, UAB is one and zero on the year. They've got Georgia next Saturday. Bill Clark is the head coach at UAB. Bill, I appreciate it. Always good to have you on. Good luck. That's going to be a really interesting game. I'm really anxious to see it. Thanks, Jim. Always good to be on. You too, Bill. Thank you very much. Always good to have you on.